Hello you guys. We are heading to go on a little vacation-ish out of town. We're going back to where both of us went to college, like the town. And we have a wedding there. So I got my toothbrush, so I have to put it in my bag later. So that's kind of the plan for the day. I'm super excited to go back. We haven't been back in like two years, so it'll be really nice. Are you not excited about it? It's been less than two years. Has it? Yes. Oh. We went for our one year anniversary. Oh, okay. Turn that thing off. <laughs> You're not even in. I mean, how do this? Oh my gosh, guys. Okay, well, um, we're gonna, do you bring a mask? My bag. Okay, I have like two in here, you know. I almost forgot all my jewelry, so I had to run back. Well, not run back in, but like grab it last minute. But anyway, I'll see you guys when we get to. Actually, I'm sure I'll turn this back on at some point while we're driving. So I'll see you guys. There. You can see my footprint. <laughs> So I went in and got this one nail fixed. Um, I broke it off yesterday. And when I went, I made an appointment for 1:30 and went in and didn't get out for an hour. Wow. Yeah, but he made it free because it took an hour. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. I was like, yeah, it takes an hour to get a full manicure. So like, getting. The bathroom nothing super special they have a little coffee area over here and microwave and a fridge which is so clutch and then this is the bed and they have this little like day bed over here which is kind of nice um and then this is what the room looks like from the other side the other layout area it's pretty spacious and comfy Hello guys, good morning from Kirksville. We are here in our college town and um, it's like cold, like <laughs> pretty cold. I have on this little cardigan and then, um, let me show you guys my outfit. It'll be easier to see it in this little mirror. Boop, boo. Maybe it's kind of dark. Um, yeah, so this is my outfit that I'm wearing today. Um, just some joggers with this little cardigan and this little like stretchy tank top because it's like kind of chilly, but it also might warm up a little bit later. So we are gonna be heading um, to like a ton of places today. We wanna go check out our campus, like where we went to school. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Um, and then we wanna check out this like lake area that we haven't been to in like forever, but we used to go all the time um, whenever we lived here. We lived here like literally eight years. We stayed like for college, then bought our first house here. So like tons of memories. Um, so yeah, we had a really nice time at Colton's Steakhouse last night, which is actually where I used to work like way back in the day during undergrad. Um, so there's just gonna be like a lot of memories this weekend and I'm really excited to show you guys everything because I feel like this is like where we met, like where we became like adults. So it's like really near and dear to our hearts, but this place is like super cold. So um, it's kind of like its own little breed. The town is like in the middle of nowhere. It's like an hour and a half from like the closest city. And even then like the closest city still isn't that large. So it's truly like a college town. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys everything. So the first place we're gonna go is to the little lake and I'll see you guys in the car. Yeah. 
Make air and drive, sure. Probably. Who cares at that point? Yes, I wouldn't want to, but. Ooh. 2,000 hills. It's only 1,000. <laughs> <laughs> Slam on the brakes. <laughs> uh, okay, so we just got in the car. Wow, my window's dirty because I keep putting my feet up. But that's a dog park over there. We used to take Bane all the time. Uh, uh, and it like spreads all the way out to that area. So it's like huge. And now we live in an area where there's literally like no... Well, there is a dog park, but it's like 30 minutes away. So it doesn't really make sense to like go there. It's just so far away. But maybe our life would be easier to chat if had a dog park. Oh heck yeah. And we wouldn't have to like drive and then you could see dogs. We just need to take the other dog park more. Just, uh, I don't understand why there's only one on the north side. Of the I park. know. So everything's super close here in Kirksville. So like up here, this is where my old job was. I worked show them right up here. Yeah, let's go show them. Let's see. Oh wow, look at that apartment complex. Oh shoot, looks, they redid the. Yeah, stadium. it looks so nice. Yeah, so everything is pretty much always like, I don't want to say like trash here, but it's always like, um, I don't know. It's kind of falling apart most things. So, like when you see stuff that's new like this, look at that sign, luxury landings. Wow. It's a lot of those because when I used to work there. Yeah, they used to look like that, guys. Is it the same company though, or no? Unless they sold it, but that was owned by the same company that worked for Okay. Well, you guys are going to see how close my, like our old house is to like my old job. It's like super close. And I was still like late every day. <laughs> like every day I'd be like, oh my god, I'm running like, no. <laughs> uh, so crazy. I do miss it here though. Uh, There's some things I don't miss that like fuck crap. You see that? Yeah, where we just go down there. Yeah, you can see that. Yikes. Yeah, you're supposed to go all the way down and then make a right on that long street. You can get there this way though. This way I would drive to work. Not this way, but the other. I can't remember what streets go through. I think Hamilton goes through. Street Baptist Church. Whoa! Oh, guys. Okay, so this is the area. Honestly, the area where we lived in, like, we would tell people we lived over here, they were like, oh. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's, like, the project. <laughs> um, but they have this little park right here, which is kind of nice. Not like we ever use it because we don't have any kids, but. Oh, here we go. Coming up on the house. Neighbors are still there. Oh, she made a put a white picket fence around the house. All right, so this is our old house. Wow. Oh, look at the pub. Wow, it looks really like junky around the house. Looks like a yeah. She kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So that house had three three bedrooms, two baths, but like. Honestly, most of the room was in our like master bedroom. And oh my gosh, so many memories. Uh, everything was so close, like in Kirksville. You could walk to everything. So like as we drive past everything, it's just like so many. Build stuff like cheap. Remember we looked at one of those at one point. Did we? Well, I'm gonna be looking at. We were looking at online. Oh. I wonder what your old house looks like. Your old apartment. <laughs> the one that you guys lived in. Same. Yeah, they probably haven't done anything to it. 
So to go to Thousand Hills, you have to like go down this long stretch. It's like kind of like a winding like road area. Um, and there's nothing really around it, which is kind of surprising. Like, there's like a lot of grass. You'd think that people would like want to build. But I guess it's a cemetery up there, so you're not gonna really like build up there. I need to clean this off. <laughs> I wonder if a lot of these houses are still for sale. They had, remember they had all these big houses out here for sale? I don't know if they were for sale. I think they were, because I remember we were like looking, not looking to buy, but like looking to see how much they were. So, I remember Brady and I would look at that house when we were like friends, that one way back there, and we would be like, oh, if we're not married, we'll like buy one of these houses and live out here. Honestly, the worst thing for, about that statement was just the idea of us buying a house and living out here for life. <laughs> it's like a winding road. Oh yeah. Not right by the water. Like no. Like yeah, so it's not like a true lake house, but they can, these are the closest houses to the lake, so. I forget how winding the roads are. was our spot out here. Honestly, it was like everybody's spot. It wasn't just like ours, but there's like a nice little area that you can like sit and the water's like super, just like relaxing. There's so much water. Everyone would always come out here and just like skip rocks and stuff. This breeze feels really nice too. relaxing and not only would we sit on the picnic table thing we'd also come down here and it's like not really a beach but like it's close enough <laughs> and just like be by the water try to go down here without breaking my neck <laughs> One of the nicest things was that like no one would really come out here so like when you're out here there's like, there's like maybe one other person and that's it so it just made it more relaxing to like come and sit here is so nice country boy comes out when the sun comes out <laughs> Brady all of a sudden the sun comes out and his like shirt's off he's skipping rocks like just out here in the country rocks <laughs> like literally the sun just popped out and two seconds later like shirts off you be skinny dipping in a second <laughs> I feel like none of these are good rocks to skip here's a good one thank you don't throw it don't throw it like that throw it like, throw it. like what this? yes okay. yeah <laughs> Now we're going to go back and get lunch, um, see what we can find. Some of the businesses have actually closed down um, because of like COVID and stuff, which is kind of sad because like they couldn't make it. Um, one of our favorite bars is actually closed. It's like a bar and restaurant, but it's not open anymore. So we're trying to like figure out where we're gonna go because like we planned on going there. There's so much poop out here. What is this? Is this like raccoon poop or something? But, ew, goose poop, gross. So 
Is that what it's called? Ew. Ugh, hope I didn't get any goop on my feet. Ugh. Why is my, there we go, here we're not fixing. So anyway, some of the businesses didn't make it, so um, we're gonna try to find somewhere else to go that like has memories for us, but it's also like really good. We're thinking of like the wooden nickel. Um, I think we should go there. I feel like that's like a good place. All right, we'll see you guys when so we get there. this is the square. Wow, this is the most like small town square ever. My palace, I've been there so many times. I worked there. And this is like small town vibes as you can get. Um, this is the courthouse. <laughs> this is a little antique shop and like other small shops. Um, Take Root Cafe is a really cool place. They like pretty much you pay what you can which is kind of cool and then that's the movie theater very small <laughs> like seriously so small and then most of the bars are like over there and then over here is just like a couple more shops it's a nice cute little place go into this place called Maxwell's we used to go in there all the time and like play games and stuff it's like a nice little Super good food too. Thank you. What I absolutely love about this place is they have like Scrabble, which we always play Scrabble, and then they have checkers, and then they put these little like game pieces over here. This is like a Scrabble. I think these are the Scrabble ones. Um, we always used to play. Yeah. I don't think that we could just come here and not play Scrabble. I forgot that they had the little Scrabble thing. So they have like beer chips or like beer dip and it's so good. <laughs> we always used to like eat it. And then I got um, a chocolate martini. So we just left the other restaurant and walked to this place called Wine on Washington. It's so cute. They just opened up in January. Look at how it looks in here. Like, this is just so cute and cozy. We're getting like wine slushies. They have different slushies that we can get. I got Pinot Noir and we're gonna like walk around and like drink it while we go to the shop. Done with the slushies and we're heading back to um, the hotel. I'm gonna show you guys campus. I'm gonna show you guys around a little bit more tomorrow, but this is what campus looks like. It's campus. So cute. All the vibes, that's a rec center. This is where we used to live in our dorm. Uh, that's the student union building. We gotta walk around here tomorrow, babe. That's my old dorm. It's the best, best little area. All right, so we just changed for the wedding and my hair is just up in a little like different look and this is what I'm wearing um let's see if I can open some light in here this is what I decided to wear it's a Hawaiian themed wedding so I wanted to look very Hawaiian so we decided to head back to the wine bar um until the reception because the wedding is over and we have like roughly an hour or so until the reception starts and the wine bar was like really nice and I want another one of those slushies so we're heading there now and we'll be there in like two seconds. We just finished our wine and we're heading over to the reception. <laughs> Guys, we're getting ready to head into the wedding reception. I'm gonna leave you guys in here and I'll catch back with you guys tomorrow because we're gonna go and just like chill and hang with friends and stuff. And tomorrow I'll show you guys like around campus and we're gonna do some more stuff around town. All right guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning. It is our last day here in Kirksville and I didn't really get to show you guys around like our campus or really around like downtown so we're gonna go and do that this morning um i really want to just go and like relax and like sit down there and like i don't know feel the feels and all the memories so 
we're gonna go and do that um, and then we're gonna go to this cute little diner that we used to go to all the time when we um, lived here so you guys are really gonna love it it's so cute and the guy who works there he always says thanks a million every time like you leave and it's just like I don't know it's such like good small town vibes he's like an elderly guy and like he kind of reminds me of the guy from like up so um i think you guys will really like it so we're getting ready to leave now we have our bags packed let me show you guys my outfit this is what i'm wearing today nothing like super special um but i'm gonna throw on a long sleeve which actually now that i think about it i packed up in my bag so i'm gonna open it have to open it back up but it's like still pretty chilly so um, i want to make sure that i'm like somewhat warm at least but this is my outfit so yeah we are gonna get out of here and we'll see you guys in the car so we just got to the campus area this is like i don't know the, it's called the mall oh look at that it looks so much nicer they got the fountains going they added a lot of plants over here this looks so pretty this area is the area where people would like I mean, you pretty much just walk through campus to like classes this way it's like really nice though there were so many times where I was like rushing to classes and I feel like this long stretch of walkway it's like you want to get to class fast but you also don't want to like freaking run but this is probably like the longest stretch between like two larger buildings where people would have like most of their classes this is where i had most of my classes like most of the english classes were here and literally i'm cringing as i walk past because there were so many times when i would like go to class and it would be like five minutes till class and i'd be like running so late the area behind me is the quad where people you can see all that grassy area that's where people would like play like ultimate frisbee or like just games outside um there's this thing called like a larping where people would like dress up in like different like caricatures i think from like books and stuff and they would like play out there sometimes i never really quite understood it but i feel like everybody had like their own thing and they were able to just like do whatever they felt comfortable doing so yeah that was pretty cool and this is the library where I spent tons of my time. Let me show you guys. It's so pretty. They have like a lot of flowers and stuff around there. It's just like really big and it goes all the way around the campus area. Pretty much. This, <laughs> this area right here is called the Sunken Garden. And you like walk through this little area and you're in the garden. And the saying is, I think, that if you kiss in this garden, you're gonna like get married, I think. I don't know if Brady and I ever actually like kissed in the sunken garden, but we are married, so. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like a nice little garden area to just like chill. This right here was like the best house. It was the Multicultural Fairs Center. I don't know what it is now, or if it's still the Multicultural Affairs Center, but like all of like the minority groups and stuff kind of like hang here and you could just like talk about different experiences and stuff. It's like really cool. And then we're walking to the football field now. This is like where we had many, many memories because Brady played football. So we just got over to the stadium. <laughs> and uh, we're by the football field getting ready to walk over by the bleachers. It's so crazy, like how many memories you have here, just like looking at the field. I think they like, redid it because it actually looks like way better than it used to. Um, it looks really, really nice. Seriously, it looks so much nicer. It's such a good job like redoing everything. This is my old dorm building. We're not gonna go over there because there's really like no point, but I actually lived right in that little room right there. That would have been my window. I lived there freshman year. Oh, it was nice to go over by campus. Honestly, when I was over there, it was nice to be near it, like near like all the memories and like campus and stuff, but also I was like cringing because of all the memories of like me being late to class and stuff. 
Uh, now we're heading over to get some brunch and um, I'm pretty hungry. So I'm probably gonna eat a lot. They have like a lot of good breakfast food. Um, usually I get their biscuits and gravy and that's probably what I'll get today too because it's really, really good. And then after that, we're gonna go on the square for like a hot minute, um, not too long, but and then we're gonna head back home. Rosie's is closed and <laughs> and we're gonna go into this little bakery. It's called To Die For Bakery. Um, I just wanna pick up like some snacks and then we're gonna actually go and get some food at this like new, it's like a barbecue place I think. Um, we've never been there but it's like new so we figured why not try it. So I ended up getting a peanut butter cookie. Brady got these little, what are those? Mm. Something with like strawberry filling in the inside. Really good. That bakery seriously has the best stuff. Like the best sweets. Now we're gonna go into Wooden Nickel. So we are walking back to the car now. We um, finished eating and um, we're just like walking around the square a little bit more but there isn't really much else to see my allergies are like on 10 here i don't know if you guys know but my like biggest allergy is like being allergic to ragweed and this is ragweed season here so a lot of the farmers are like farming it which i don't know if it's like i think it's like a wheat um so yeah my is it not a wheat <laughs> What is it? <laughs> Brady just gave me this look like you're an absolute idiot. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Apparently I know nothing about farming, but anyway, it's like a thing. I'm allergic to it, so my nose has just been like itching this whole time. But oh, I don't think I showed you guys this side. These are the shops on this side. So cute down here. This is actually a pizza place I used to work at like way back in the day. And there's more shops over there. And the courthouse, that's pretty much everything. But we're just gonna walk back to the car and head on home. So we're leaving and I don't think I showed you guys but that's my old job up there. I worked there for five years and loved it. I don't know if that even went to focus, to be honest. But I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, I really enjoyed showing you guys around the town and we're gonna head home, just like relax um, and chill and stuff. And um, football is back today. So <laughs> we're gonna watch football and just like, um, what is this YouTube? <laughs> Um, and just like chill pretty much for the rest of the day probably. So, yeah, peace out guys! Bye! Do you want to say bye? <laughs> bye.